Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a transition like this one in Premiere Pro. So to start, let's drag these clips to create a new sequence and then let's press the down arrow key to move to this cut right here. This is where we want the transition to occur. So as you may know, you can use the arrow keys to move your playhead in Premiere Pro. So let's press the left arrow key one, two, three times and then let's select this clip and let's press Ctrl K to cut it. And then let's move back by pressing the down arrow key and then let's press the right arrow key one, two, three times and let's do the same thing. We're going to cut this video. So we need to go to the effects panel and we need to search for an effect which is called transform and we need to apply this to both of these clips and we are going to be using transform to animate the rotation and the scale because we need this shutter angle to create motion blur. That's why we're not using these properties right here. So let's select the first clip, let's move the playhead to the beginning right here and let's set a scale keyframe and a rotation keyframe. Then let's move to the end of this clip and let's set the rotation to 20 degrees. Now we need to set the scale to maybe 160 and then move one frame backwards and if there's not black edges here, here basically on the corners it's going to be fine. Then let's select the second clip. Let's move the playhead to the beginning. Let's set a scale keyframe and a rotation keyframe. And this time around, we're going to set the value of rotation to minus 20 degrees. And we're going to set the scale to 160. Okay. And then let's go to the end and let's set the scale back to 100 and the rotation back to zero. If I play this, this is what we've made so far. So the next step would be to uncheck this box that says use compositions shutter angle and we need to set it to somewhere around 200. Then we need to do that with the first clip, the same thing. And if you take a look right here, you can see that this has turned red which means that it's going to be really difficult for Premiere Pro to preview this in real time. So if you need to preview this, set the playhead somewhere before the transition, then press I to set the endpoint and then set uh, the playhead somewhere behind this transition and press O to set the out point and then go to sequence and hit render effects into out and I'll wait for this to render. It should be really quick. And if you preview this right now, you can see that it previews smoothly and this is now green. That's it for this tutorial. For more, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.